Hey guys. So, um, I'm going to stick with the schedule of releasing videos every two weeks, but what I'm going to do is those will be the videos that I spend more in-depth time on. Um, you know, just getting more into detail. But I do have some other smaller or offbeat things that I've kind of built up over the last couple of months. So what I'll do is I'll release the smaller ones in between times. So I'm still going to be putting a video out every week, but it'll be something short and sweet. And then the next week will be something of substance, then something short of sweet, short of sweet, short and sweet, uh, so on and so forth. All right, so let's get to it. What we really need to do is check top dead center on the engine. But the first problem is my little timing pin will not move to be able to find top dead center. So we're going to take that out. Hey guys, just wanted to talk to you for a quick second. Uh, I got this uh, timing pin housing from ProSource Diesel. I uh, paid for it with my own money. This is not an advertisement in any way. Um, but I'm really actually satisfied with the way it looks. And uh, the outside housing is steel. And the inside is uh, whatever that composite plastic is. But it looks like it's, it's real nice. Um, this little bag it came in and it says the part number on it is a 390 hb So it comes in in separate pieces This is a separate piece with an o-ring on it. It has this little snap ring in there and then you have this o-ring here, which is really a pain in the twist to get on there but once you get it on there you should be good to go i put just a little bit of oil on the shaft seal here this comes with its own o-ring already installed on it it comes with the snap ring that retains it as a separate item you just pop that in there make sure you have it facing with the arc down otherwise the first time you go to pull this out that's just going to pop right out of there so anyway I put a little bit of motor oil on here to help that slide in there easier. And one little bonus feature that I noticed that a lot of companies don't do is the uh, mounting screws, sorry, come with Loctite on them or with some kind of thread sealer. Uh, the ones that came off of my truck before, looks like they may have had something on there at one time, but God only knows how many decades ago that was. So yeah, pro source diesel for that one, guys. And uh, I'm going to get this guy stuck on there and get back to you. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to see, but there she is all installed. And uh, it's nice to have a seal on there that's not flat as a pancake. So buttoned up one of my hundred of different oil leaks. Uh, it was a pretty good price, so I appreciate ProSource Diesel for that one. And uh, if this ends up getting posted on YouTube, I'll put a link to uh, the actual product that I paid for. Alright guys, take care. Thanks.